So these are the bagpipes and to be more specific, the Great Highland bagpipes. Um, there's a lot of different types of pipes in the world. Almost every region in Europe developed its own take on bagpipes. So these were what was developed in Scotland over centuries. One of the more recognizable pipes out there just because of their influence in the British Army. This is what you'll have seen in parades or at funerals and weddings are quite popular. And I'll give you a little overview of how they work. Basically, you have a blowpipe that you blow into with a one-way valve at the end. So you fill up this bag as a reservoir and then you force the air out with this elbow and your whole aim is to keep the stream as constant as possible and the pressure as constant as possible. When you're forcing the air out, you force them out through the other pipes. These pipes that are on my shoulder are called drones and they just produce that one long monotone uh, note that you hear throughout the melody. And the longer one is a bass drone, so that'll produce a B flat in this case for this instrument. And then the tenor drones will produce the same note, but an octave higher. Then the melody comes out of this pipe called the chanter. And there's a number of holes on there. And inside the casing here is what we call the reed. And it's a double bladed cane reed, uh, much the same as an oboe reed. It has two tongues of cane as, as the air passes through it, it vibrates and produces sound. And like any other woodwind, there's a bunch of holes on it. And the longer the sound has to travel down the pipe, the deeper the note, the lower the note is. So there's nine notes in the pipe scale. So it's a little limited in that sense. And it's also limited as an instrument because there's only one volume, fairly loud. And you can't, you can't get louder, you can't get quieter. It's just one volume all the time. So to introduce dynamics into the music, we use a lot of gracing and ornamentation and also to separate notes because you can't stop the melody. Once you're started, it's always playing melody. So to separate the notes, you use a lot of those gracings. And that gracing and ornamentation is something that really identifies pipe music. And that ornamentation, you still see it in the fiddle music and the, the music we know around here and in Scotland. It's informed a lot of the stylings that we use and the ornamentation that we use on the fiddle or any in instrument.